in our ecosystem, we think of data and AI in one of three ways. We think of giving our users the capability to do what they are doing better, faster, cheaper. We think about how these capabilities can make our products and services better and give them a leg up. It gives us this capability to bring in a very, very vast amount of data sets together. We started working with our partners from Databricks to think about really laying the foundation of everything that's required, not just to survive, but to thrive in this data economy. Retiring a legacy infrastructure on-premise and moving them to the Azure Cloud with Databricks. For us to bring those capabilities to the table, what we believe is having a platform like data intelligence on Databricks will give us that flexibility, that modular architecture that we think of where the best of breed capabilities can be plugged in as they continue to evolve. There needs to be a leadership, a thought leadership change in the way people look at these capabilities. I think we are leaving a lot on the table when we think about AI as a replace human and a pure play automation capabilities. We truly believe the augmentation portion brings a lot to the equation. We really think about it not as a tool, but as a teammate. It's a fine balancing act, is how we think about it. We have channelized and said, if you're playing a particular role by persona, here is what is available for you to think of potential automation. Here is what is available for you as potential augmentation solutions. The early indicator of an ROI is the adoption. If you're not seeing the right kind of adoption happening, you got to ask yourself, why is it that the adoption is not taking place? Focus on the foundation. Do not try to boil the ocean and look at every capability that's available out there. Think about what's relevant to you. Conduct rapid pilots. Continue to learn. Continue to evolve. Continue to expand on, build on what you've learned. Learn from your mistakes. Fail fast.